Greetings, my Greetings. name is Dr. Ken Kellick. I'm here to talk to you about the longitudinal opportunities at the VA Western New York healthcare system. Uh, the VA Western New York healthcare system is a tertiary medical center. We service over 80,000 veterans. Uh, the Buffalo campus is the main campus. We have, on Buffalo campus, we have medicine, surgery, we have critical care, emergency department, primary care, other specialties. Uh, Batavia campus is largely a CLC community living center. We also have primary care there. We have six community based outpatient, community -based outpatient clinics, uh, one in Niagara Falls, Lockport, West Seneca, Springville, Dunkirk, Jamestown, and Olean. Uh, we have a lot of services at the Buffalo VA, again, medicine, critical care, surgery, except for neurosurgery, uh, the behavioral health, a number of specialists, specialists, uh, and uh, we also have the community care living centers. There are two functioning residency program at the VA. Uh, I'm the former RPD. Dr. Mergenhagen is now the RPD for the PGY-1 pharmacy practice residency, and Dr. Mergenhagen is also the RPD for the PGY-2 infectious disease pharmacy residency program. The inpatient pharmacy services uh, include medication reconciliation, we do inpatient anticoagulation, uh, a lot of discharge. Uh, there's a huge ID component in the, uh, the VA Western New York inpatient services. Uh, there is a critical care, which is no longer rotation, and emergency room, which is not a rotation either. Uh, emergency room is in development. The community living centers at Buffalo and Batavia, uh, they're uh, encompassed by clinical pharmacists who review, we do medication reviews, there's fall prevention, uh, post fall notes, there's inter interdisciplinary meetings, uh, they round, there's consults for services, uh, and formulating management is part of the pharmacist's uh, normal daily duties. There are outpatient services at both Buffalo and Batavia. It's similar to community pharmacy with the one caveat that all the prescriptions that we fill uh, must be filled by a VA approved provider. Uh, and so they can be picked up at the medical center. They can be mailed uh, to the patients. Um, the pharmacy doesn't have a cash register. Uh, those patients are all billed by a central process. Uh, and uh, we use a very large mail out program uh, out of Chicago for the most part. It processes um, over 50% of our prescriptions. Uh, the ambulatory services at the Buffalo VA uh, there is a primary care service, which is uh, diabetes, hypertension. Uh, we have a PACT uh, uh, program, we have a women's wellness program, there's a geriatrics program. There are CBLC primary care pharmacists who cover the outreach clinic. Uh, we have an anti-quag program. Uh, we have some mental health. Uh, there is a development of a pain management program, uh, geriatrics. Uh, and we have, again, a lot of consults for services as well as formulary management. So should you be interested and apply for the longitudinal rotation, uh, you will be interviewed uh, and if accepted, uh, and you're on our list that Chris Jordan sends us every year. Uh, a VA uh, person will, from education will reach out to you. You'll need to uh, get fingerprinted, there are background checks that goes on. Uh, there's other paperwork that approves you uh, to be a student. Uh, this takes a minimum of 30 days uh, to get through. So we tell students not to show up at the last minute because it doesn't work. Uh, once you're approved, we'll get you started initial day for computer access and orientation, uh, and then turn you over to preceptor uh, for further orientation uh, to your area. So the longitudinal opportunities right now, uh, we have Dr. Michelle Mancaster and Dr. Kurt Saltz who are taking students in primary care. Uh, internal medicine is Dr. Federo and Dr. Mergenhagen. Uh, medication reconciliation, Dr. Krajewski, Bobek, uh, Dr. Vela, and uh, if you're interested in pharmacy administration, a rotation can be arranged with you uh, with our management team. In primary care, we do a lot of medication management. Much of it is hypertension, diabetes, some lipid management. We work with the primary care providers. We orient the new patients. We uh, address formulary issues. Patients coming in from outside, looking at their medicine from the VA, what is on formulary here, and 
uh, what can we do to make the smooth transition? Uh, in internal medicine, there's daily team rounding, uh, talking about transitions of care, uh, etc. Uh, med reconciliation, there's inpatient anticoagulation, discharge counseling, uh, again, team rounding, and the pharmacokinetics. Uh, if you're interested in pharmacy administration, we'll teach you how we write policies, inventory management, scheduling, etc. If there's any questions, you can please address them to me, kenneth.kellick at va.gov. Uh, if you want uh, Chris to email us, uh, and we thank you for the opportunity to consider us for one of your longitudinal rotations. We hope you have a good year.